2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this year's Q School Final. We're just about to begin our coverage of this exciting event. Luke Elby here alongside my mate Rich Beam and Beamer. This is a nerve-wracking event, isn't it? Absolutely, Luke. These players at the end of this event need to finish in the top 50 to secure their Corn Ferry Tour cards. I'm looking forward to today, that's for sure. And let's see what he can do here today. Second shot here on the first. went in an opportunity for a birdie here well that's a nice way to start writing a little red number down on the scorecard at the first and that should calm whatever nerves this player has nice opening hole he's currently tied for third Looking at a par five here. Players want to take out any club, driver three, whatever it takes to miss the bunkers down the right-hand side in order to give them the best opportunity to knock it on in two. However, danger lurks everywhere around this green. So players playing cautiously might want to consider laying up. Birdie fours are always a good score in this hole and you're never disappointed with a five. Hmm, not sure what the intent was there. Setting up in some very deep rough. No, this is like hitting it into a head of cabbage. I mean, it literally is just awful. That's really not what we're looking for. And here we are with the third shot. From around 120 yards here. That should find the surface. Yeah. Big time play that one, Beamer. What an approach. Great stuff. Got to believe that is a guaranteed part. Just a short putt remaining here. Currently one under for the round. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. 
Just one bunker surrounds the screen. A difficult par three to say the least. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Oh, that's a great approach, Yon. This putt about 11 feet in distance. This one's online. Well, well holds. He'll take the birdie. Currently a couple under for the round. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. The fourth at TPC, Boston Rich. A great short par four. Players looking to make birdie or better. The only difficulty is finding that front bunker. That's when big numbers can be had. For sure, birdies galore. And from the bunker here, looking for an up and down. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. And he's down there. You got a read? This is downhill. Can't be too bold. If it's up, it could be in. Yeah, nicely hold. That's a good fight back. And that'll put a little pep in your step. Up and down from the bunker. In for the birdie. Good job. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Dog legs from right to left. The big danger here is the green. Three different tiers on this green. Find the correct one. You'll have a birdie opportunity. Miss it, and it's going to be a difficult two-putt. Nicely done. And what's in front of them there, Henny? I'd say he's about 165 from this flag. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Okay, that'll work. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? And this part to move into a share of first place. He finds himself in a share of the lead.
time to face a par four now. Bunkers down the right-hand side are a nuisance. The pond fronting the left part of the green should not come into play if players find the fairway off their tee shots. Second shot to a very flat green. You can get it close, but still difficult on this long par four. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. The sixth hole, particularly the approach, Rich, at TPC Boston, is a very strong one. If they put the pin other than front left near the water, it's a good birdie opportunity. But once that pin sneaks over to the left-hand side, watch out. Bogies and doubles come into the equation very quickly. Well, that's a handy shot. Good chance to take it even deeper here. This putts for four under. Little birdie look in here. Oh, just missed. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. Putting for a par here. You finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. Currently at minus three for the round. Oh, I like this. The cover's coming off the big dog. Time to let it loose. Par five, and only the long players can reach in two. Find the fairway, then make a decision. Do I go over the large bunker? 100 yards away, or do I lay back of it? Either way, you must make a par five here because birdies will be had by the big hitters. Oh, that was pure. Second shot here on the seventh. Oh, well done. Getting ready to play their third. Currently tied for the lead. No harm, no foul there with that shot. 11 feet left to the hole. Oh yeah, this is tracking nicely. Nice one, fourth booty of the day. And with that, he'll move to four under par. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. We've reached the eighth hole. Par three and a diabolical green to say the least. The left-hand side sits much higher than the right-hand side and the green is usually very firm. A tough ask. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Well, that's well played into Bernie range here at the eighth. This is tracking right into the front of this cup. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. 
Gotta like it. Two in a row. And that makes him tied for first. Teeing off here at the ninth hole. Ninth hole, bunkers down the left, will not come into play. And this green sits below the players on their second shot. We have seen birdies made here in the past, but they are really difficult to come by. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 155. Going with the nine iron, I think. Uh, this player's dialed in. What a shot. Just putting on a ball striking clinic, it seems today, Rich. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. It's looking solid. Oh, that had eyes for a lovely shot. And that will move him to six under par. And after that hole, he's now alone at the top of the leaderboard. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Par four, straight away. A hole that is simple and difficult, all in the same breath. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Henny. What's the player facing here? And from about 105 yards. Outstanding approach shot. What's in front of them, Henny? Yeah, he's been prowling around this one. It's 11 foot out. Tracking. Oh, he's on fire today. Building upon his lead, hole after hole. And with that, He'll move to seven under. Incredible. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. On the tee of a par three. Par three measures 231 yards from the back. A very difficult test indeed. A long green that is unforgiving as it slopes from back to front quite severely. Birdies are hard to run by as pars can be as well. Going with the five wood. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two putt that for sure. 12 feet to the cup coming up. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. Get excited. This could go in. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And that will take him to eight under. Currently in first position. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. Par four, 510 yards. Good luck. Wonderfully played. 
Time for the second shot at the 12th. Going with the hybrid. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12th. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. Wonderful shot. Leading by six strokes after that one. Next up is this par four hole. Tee shot is uphill to a blind landing area. Green is surrounded by some deep bunkers. However, you miss all those, you find the surface in two, and you're gonna have a pretty decent look at a birdie three. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 145 yards. Choosing the 9 iron here. Clubbing up, smart. Got to control it though. Let's see. That's a good looking shot there. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Ooh. A par putt on the table. Our current leader enjoys a five shot advantage. Let's head to this lengthy par four. Fairway sweeps from right to left down the hill. Should you find the fairway, you'll have a decent look at finding the green in two. But I gotta say, it is a difficult par four and you'd be happy to walk away with that score yeah this is a quality looking shot this one that should find the short stuff the 14th hole at tpc boston is a par five for the locals a converted par four for the tournament rich and it's a strong second shot down the hill second shot very narrow opening to this green if you miss it out to the right in the bunkers, you have a difficult time getting it up and down. Out to the left, you have some options. Parts can be made. A wonderful shot into 14. It sets up another look at birdie. Nice line. Well done. Take the birdie. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Par four, 421 yards. A lot of fun can be had here. But be careful of the green. It'll get you if you're not careful.
But Henny, what are you seeing down there? He's setting up here from about 115 yards. That was special. And just about eight feet left to the hole. All right, guys. This for two birdies in a row. Ooh, nice line. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Back-to-back -back birdies move in the right direction there, Luke. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Watch out for this green. There's a large shelf on the right-hand side. If it's up there, good luck getting it close. And whatever you do, don't be silly and hit it left in the water. That's just a bad shot. Opting for the six iron. <laughs> Handy effort, that one. Trying to move to 12 under par with this putt. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. That's frustrating. And this one is for his par. Now six shots in front after that hole. Well, here we go, Rich. We're at the penultimate hole, the 17th. Dog leg from right to left. Second shot is down the slope. Lots of bunkers on this hole, but should you avoid them, and find the sliver of a green, then birdie will be on your mind. That's the kind of strike that's gonna make them come back every day of the week. Well, Rich, the 17th hole at TPC Boston, I think the most important thing is positioning your tee shot so you can get a clear look at the green here. A very narrow green, actually bisected in two by Santa Claus's belly, thus the size of it. Find the right level, you have a birdie opportunity. Well, what a wonderful shot into the 17th and sets up another putt inside birdie range. That's impressive. He just keeps extending his advantage over the field. And now that finds him in first place. Of all the finishing holes on the PGA Tour, Rich, there's plenty that feel that TPC Boston can be right up with the very best of them. Long hitters are looking to take it down the left-hand side and get the extra chase on the golf ball down the slope. That'll leave them with a very short second shot to a dangerous green, big deep bunker right, and a large hollow on the left-hand side. Birdies and eagles have been made before, but so have sixes and sevens.
playing from around 230 yards. Opting for the three wood. Oh, I love this type of courage, Rich. Going forward in two. Always like the aggressive play. Going forward in two and get rewarded for it. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Yeah, this is looking nice. And with that putt concludes this player's round. They're going to be pleased with that performance in first place at the completion of their first round. Luke, big lead through the opening 36, but no time to get complacent. There's still a lot of golf to play, and they need to continue to make birdies in order to finish ahead. On behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at 2K Sports, thanks for tuning in, and see you next time.